Hi, my name is Ryan Chambers. Um, I did my report on Bill Gates, the founder of Microsoft, and he's still the CEO. Um, so he has a good reputation as a manager for the most part. Um, I'll get to the bad parts of his reputation uh, later. Um, but basically, he founded Microsoft. He's one of the wealthiest people in the world, and he has been for quite a while. He's pioneered new software. He's established a dominant corporation that has employed thousands of Americans. He's simplified the computer for the average person to use. He's sparked interest in computers for the general public. He has participated in various forms of philanthropy. Um, but here are some pros of Bill Gates's uh, management. I'll get to the cons later. Um, but basically, He's um, been able to partner and buy out companies. He partnered with IBM um, for quite a while now. And uh, Microsoft also um, bought out Bungie. And they made Halo, uh, the video game that's pop popular among teens. And uh, Microsoft keeps coming out with innovative software and hardware. Xbox and Xbox 360s um, are examples for hardware. Windows is an example of software like Windows 98, you know, Windows XP, Windows 7, and then they recently came out with Windows um, 8. They've also had other um, Windows like Windows Vista and stuff. Those weren't that great, but um, they've highly improved upon um, their basic products, and average people can use these products. Um, Microsoft makes good business decisions. Um, they figure out how to stay competitive in the market with effective prices that max maximize profit and keep demand high. They have good programs for people to use um, to stay relevant, basically like Excel and Word and uh, many other programs. Um, and they package good programs with the uh, um, you know, ones that they make like um, Windows uh, Media Player and stuff like that. Um, they've influenced the general public to buy and use computers and other products as both a necessity and as entertainment. Um, some of the cons of Bill Gates though is that in 1998 um, the United States versus Microsoft case where Microsoft almost had a monopoly on internet browsing, it was versus Microsoft and Netscape and um, what had happened was um, Microsoft basically had a worse browser than Netscape but to make people actually use it they made it cheaper so it was like thirty dollars let's say versus Netscape's is you know sixty dollar browser so eventually though people just um, didn't like the um, Internet Explorer browser and they had to eventually make it free and um, that kind of put Netscape pretty much out of business even though they make stuff now um, a lot of the creators are part of Firefox but anyways um, they were involved in this government case where um, the government was you know challenging Microsoft because they're basically we're trying to make a monopoly um, so they kinda got in trouble uh, for that one and Bill Gates uh, was often rude in his presentations and when he visited other people's presentations um, for example he said things like that's the stupidest thing I've ever heard and why don't you give up your options and join the Peace Corps he was stubborn and didn't listen much to the ideas of others um, he's still pretty arrogant in his management and still occasionally continues to ridicule um, other people's managing styles. Um, some lessons we can learn from Bill Gates though uh, from his strengths and weaknesses is that it's important to uh, first of all create innovative ideas that will gain a lot of public support. Um, most people didn't use computers um, when he started pioneering a lot of this software and hardware um, you know 
computers back then were just for people that um, were really interested in them and it wasn't really for the average household user but now it's become almost a necessity um, most of the thanks is due to Microsoft um, another point is that um, people can learn how to build an effective business model one that will succeed in the long term not just a short term gimmick uh, Microsoft has been around for decades and they've continued to make great products um, and great services so um, that's why their stocks continue to increase over the last decades and they continue to come out with new things like the Xbox, Xbox 360 and then there's a rumor that there's supposed to be some new system um, perhaps it could be called the Xbox 720 is what I've heard um, you know and they recently came out with Windows 8 so they still are very relevant in the market um, and uh, another point that we can learn from um, Bill Gates is um, it's important to study the American public and uh, what the world desires. Um, he basically um, took what people demanded. They demanded a good kind of operating system and new kind of technology that would spark their interests. Um, so he basically um, created new interest um, among the interests that people already had like in computers and he made it for the general public um, and you know he comes out with video games and stuff for younger people use and then people can use Microsoft for you know their business um, for Excel spreadsheets and basically anybody can use it they can look up stuff on the internet um, it's just the internet's just been a great part of American technology and technology across the globe um, so that's pretty much um, you know the basics of Bill Gates's management style of Microsoft and um, that's the end of my lecture I hope everyone enjoyed it bye